this is James Come. Welcome, welcoming back our very supportive viewers from all over the world. Okay. And, uh, boy, it's a uh, very busy Friday night here in Chelsea, and I was just informed that that's because it's gallery week. We're going to run in here to Matthew Marks and see exhibition of Jasper Johns titled New Reliefs and Works on Paper. We've got some works on plastic. This ink on plastic. Looks like part of his Four Seasons series. It's untitled. We've got a piece that's titled zero to nine. This is bronze. Fourteen and seven sixteenths by twenty-five and five sixteenths by one inch. Oh, I like this. We've got the backwards numbers. of these zero through nine panels set up around the space. We've got a, another one on the wall. And then right here in the center of the setting is this large piece, Numbers 2007. This is 107 inches by 83 inches. Aluminum. This is dated 2007. Well, I think it's uh, it's interesting. He's interesting that he's looks like he's using these these embossed uh, metal printing plates. And that sort of uh, takes the place of his collage newsprint that he used in a lot of his early paintings. I, uh, I've just been rereading Irving Sandler's marvelous, this is the second volume in his quartet of books on the New York art scene. The one I was reading was The New York School, which basically is covering the 1950s in the New York scene. And uh, because I'm working on a series dealing with Marcel Duchamp and the Dadaists and the Neo Dadaists, I've just been going over the chapter on Jasper Johns and Rauschenberg. This is another zero through nine. These look like they were made from old letterpress printing plates. Oh gee, there's the artist right there. I don't think you'd get any closer to being the Pope of New York, at least the New York art world, than this gentleman right here. That is Kojo Art. Jasper Johns. Very nice with their uh, like oak plinths. Yeah, it's maple. What well, I don't know what a piece like that would cost. That's probably several million dollars. Oh, there's Kim Jones, the famous performance artist. Well, I think they have some works on paper here in the back gallery. This is untitled. Indie ink, walnut ink, a newspaper transfer. Looks like he's got some uh, squash or acrylic. This is also untitled. This is just graphite. As I was 
reading the Irving Sandler section on the neo Dadaists, he did say that Jasper Johns was very much influenced by Marcel Duchamp, but most of the influences came via John Cage, who Jasper Johns met through Robert Rauschenberg, also untitled. And this has got the newspaper transfers. He's got his sign language alphabet in there. Looks like it's about uh, 17 by 22. Oh, there's Colette. I remember seeing a lot of uh, this kind of work, the plastic and ink drawings at Leo Castelli years ago. As I understand it, Jasper Johns was also very much influenced by Wittgenstein. And I know that uh, towards the end of his life, Wittgenstein was actually dealing with the problem of these double images and what happens to the mind when they sort of switch between one image and another. So are we actually looking at a vase here or are we looking at two profiles? Well, we'll go check out the other side gallery here. Well, I think the, the way that they've installed the exhibition is very nice, very elegant. This is titled, Fragment of a Letter. So it's got a lot of his uh, sign language hands here. You know, uh, there was a great East Village artist, Martin Wong, used a lot of that. Titled Fragment of a Letter, collage graphite and ink on paper, 14 by 11 inches. Let's see if we can read backwards. What we be in in the cafe, but I'm not too good at this. Some large etchings on buff and khaki paper. This uses the same theme as the uh, sculpture in the center. Almost like he printed this off the, the plates. We'll make a success of what we began in the cafe, but I think that the primary condition on which success depends is to set aside all petty jealousies, for only union is strength. a nice minimal quality about that. This is James Com reporting on Jasper Johns. New reliefs and works on paper. Here at the Matthew Marks Gallery. 523 West 24th Street.